My company is Shaman Spears. They are handcrafted energy channeling devices, basically like wands. Uh, so they all have copper coils, crystals, magnets, and sand I collect from sacred places around the world, packed down the insides. I get the bamboo myself in Spanga Canyon because there's kind of a fire, water, and earth energy vortex going on there. So the Anunnaki actually means those who came to Earth, but in all truth, apparently they're from Sirius B, which is a star system like seven stars away. So they're pretty close. Now, are they, as you depict here in your artwork, sort of like a lizard person? Yes, they're reptilian. We have things like astrophilite. That's a, another high vibrational stone that Mother Nature is starting to make. Oh. Um, we have galena. That's another stone that is a higher vibrational stone that kind of connects you with your star families. Yeah. you got to expand your mind, man. What's your name? The one you so choose to give me. Okay, I'm going to call you Stevie, okay? Hey, that's actually my name, Steven. <laughs> Am I psychic? Perhaps. This is actually a wine holder. Oh. I just put the uh, jelly bean uh, baby bottle, so it, and it, it's idea. a great display. For some reason, I don't know if they, you know this, but a lot of Native, Native Americans in reservations have been abducted. So how do your uh, shaman spears work with aliens? Like help you find aliens, talk to aliens? People have asked me that here. I mean, using these would probably actually work very well because they amplify energy like times 10 because they're filled with quartz and magnets, all sorts of things. So I think that, that would actually work really well to use one of these. So besides uh, the aliens and uh, your, your vibrational spears, what other conspiracy BS do you believe in? Uh, do you say conspiracy BS? Right. Well, like, like a lot of people would say, I'll just say it that way. Well, I don't really consider things conspiracies if they're proven to be real. Um, you know, I, I actually go around talking about, you know, eradicating the globalist cabal and things like that, you know. That'd be more like Illuminati type stuff, basically? Yeah, things like that. And it's all interconnected with the UFO scene because everything, you know, our government has a secret space program. There, there's been secret space programs since the 40s. Uh, when she mates with these lizard men, they come out uh, with pale skin high cheekbones, pointed ears. They're basically the elf race. Uh, it turns out that all of the races documented in The Hobbit by J.R. Tolkien were in actuality part of our lost hybrid history. So the elf races were real. The, the ogre races were real. They were um, derived from the, the, the replacement bloodlines of Eve. The thing is, Eve was, they ended up creating a clone off the guy. So besides aliens, the Anunnaki, elves, uh, and giants, and clones, what other conspiracy BS do you believe in? Um, as far as an awareness of, like, whatever, there's obviously, you know, the Illuminati. Besides the aliens, what other conspiracy BS are you, are you believing in? <laughs> Uh, print is dead. That's <laughs> no. Um, you know, I love I love the Loch Ness monster. I love Bigfoot. All the cryptid stuff. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's always fun to watch. It's cryptid for folks who don't know. That is that is a, a creature that is not recognized by science. So like Bigfoot, Loch Ness monster, the Jersey Devil, Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, you know he. he <laughs> my partner doesn't believe in any of this stuff, so he's he's one of those guys that's closed off to the universe. Now, besides aliens, what other conspiracy BS do you believe in? Uh, Sasquatch. So besides aliens and stones, what other conspiracy BS do you believe in? I don't. You don't? No. You believe in zero conspiracies? <laughs> Tell me one. Uh, like, uh, I'm a great debunker. Uh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot, okay, Sasquatch. The last DNA that they came up with was deer. Okay, uh, Flat Earth. Flat <laughs> Okay, next. <laughs> You can find me online. I'm at mytheoriginofman.com. It's a very popular website, getting a lot of traffic, and the the articles that I've written are very informative. I, I actually knight people when I give them these. It's kind of like a cool thing I do. I just started doing. I just kind of 
tap them on one shoulder and then the other and present it to them. So they, they're, they're all completely unique. I never make any two the same. So I don't really like to sell them online because it, it, it's a lot to describe and I want to be able to tell people about all the crystals in them and everything when I give it to them. Uh, Instagram, Planet Awesome One. What's your company? Crystal Blue Vibrations. What do you, what do you guys do? Rocks, gems, minerals. What company are you with? Uh, the RustyVW.com. We uh, make designs and t-shirts for mostly air-cooled uh, classic Volkswagen stuff. Um, why are you guys here at the alien convention? Well, because I have a uh, passion for the ancient aliens and the Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster, the cryptids, all that good stuff ever since I was a kid.